And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. Okay, Ginger, well, you can say hello. Can I say Everybody's hello now? here. Oh, hi. Anybody that's everybody mm -hmm. is here. Oh, awesome. Well, hi, everybody and anybody that's here. This is awesome. <laughs> it's always good to have the anybody and everybody's. And we're so glad that you joined us. And uh, our moderators here, who we got for moderators tonight, John? Uh, moderator department. We have got... We have got Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Judy. Hi, Judy. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. I thought I saw Tanya earlier. Hi, Tanya. And the tech bear, naturally. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Uh, that's All right. right. So, now. you guys, have, those of you who have never watched a live show before... What the moderators do is every once in a while there are some individuals that just go all over YouTube surfing for live shows so they can come in and insult people and swear and stuff. And the moderators don't let that happen. And also, if you have questions, they make sure sometimes that as best they can that we see them. If you have a question for me, write it in caps because the feed, if we get going, and who knows, but the feed gets going so fast that it's not that we're trying to answer your question. It just gets missed. And then the caveat is on that, if you really have a burning question and you'd like it answered on one of our shows, just use gingercooklive.gallery, contact us and write us and say, I have this burning question. You know, I might answer it while you write, but chances are, you know, um, uh, you know, I'll try to, uh, if it's a question I think other people are going to want to hear, I'll, I'll answer it for the whole group. And you may even hear in uh -oh. your question, you may even hear no, this no. sound. Well, I've got to hold this right or you won't hear anything. <laughs> hear that sound? I hear that sound. And that What's sound that is, that's the question of the day. Don't always have them, but if you have a question of the day, you will have won some fabulous prize, which we'll tell you about as soon as, it's, as I decide occurs. what occurs. Yeah, depending on the question. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good question, goodness knows, right? Yes. So that being said, what we're going to be painting today is a very beginner um, lighthouse wow. and ocean. But now for you advanced painters... What I would encourage you to do is make this a little bit bigger. Maybe expand the canvas a little bit longer, make it longer and skinnier, and uh, and try it because it's um, it's it's well, it's simple enough. There's some techniques that everybody needs to kind of know how to do. Okay, and uh, so we're going to start with an eight by ten canvas that we've uh, just dark blue. This was ultramarine blue. Straight ultramarine. And uh, my colors are thalo blue. If you're using Liquitex, that's green shade. They're the only ones that do that. And then if you're using ultramarine blue, that's the red shade in Liquidex. Everybody else just calls it ultramarine blue, right? And then Dosdine purple, cad yellow medium, yellow oxide, cad red medium, and burnt umber, and probably a little uh, nap, you know, uh, naphtha crimson, which is your fire engine red. I mean, it's not your fire engine. It's your primary red, okay? Uh, cad red medium is a bit orange, all right? So those are the colors we're going to be using. We're going to notice there's no green here. We're going to make all those colors, all right? And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to measure down about, um, I guess that's about four inches. You, what, 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 what is this? For, a this ruler? Is a ruler, yeah, about four inches from the top right of the, the canvas. Hand. And uh, we're going to do that. Just I just want people to kind of get the, the stopping point here. You don't have to make it too straight because this is a, um, you know, kind of a landmass. But we're going to say that's four inches. And... Um, about like yay. So everything below here, below this four and down this way is going to be um, in the ultramarine blue colors and everything above is going to be in the thalo blues. All right. And then, of course, then we'll have our stuff up here. Okay. Don't you like that stuff? Don't you like the sound effects? Good to do them when you're painting. Makes you feel better, right? It looks perfect to me. So I'm going to use kind of a wide brush here. This is... Um, but, you know, a lot of different ones could, you know, could work. This is a, a Bristol on, um, let's see, how wide is this? It's about an inch wide brush, but you could have used a, you could have used a, um, a filbert like that too. This is a number 12 filbert. You could have used that. There's a, the secret to doing um, colors like this, 
What we oh, another thing you're going to want is um, a, a, it would be handy to have either a black uh, sharpie maybe or a, a waterproof sharpie or this is a pop black Posca pen and a fine white one. If you don't have it, you could maybe even use some um, uh, you know maybe a little black paint. Just there's a couple little touches here on the lighthouse that might be nice. You could also use purple and um, and burnt umber and get something very effective that would look like that. So we're just trying to keep it really easy and simple. And this looks crooked already. How did that happen to me? Well, I didn't want to uncrook it, but on the other hand, here. Okay, well, I guess it's yeah, not too bad. Rita, Rita is glad that we're live today. Oh, I, I, I am glad I woke up. I'm and, glad I yeah, woke up. I mean, it's kind of a... Well, some of you may know that John and I went on this fabulous two-week trip and took a trip to Alaska and got very inspired. We're going to be doing more paintings from that era. It was so beautiful. From that era? That part of the world. Area. Well, area, area. That's the one I want. Area. But also, you know, they so it cool. has to, you know, a lot of this stuff was kind of old timey things too. Yep. You like yep. that word old timey? Old timey. That's a good recovery, isn't it? Yeah, great ah. recovery. Great recovery. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's pretty good. It's got old timey stuff. Anyway, well, with John, I haven't had a chance to go through all the fabulous photos that John took, but we'll have we're gonna have some. And also our on our art academy, we've got um a, a surprise for you guys this week, and I'll tell you that later on. And Ooh, then for those of you who are, are, are you know, hanging out saying, I wonder if she's going to give anything away, Ruth. Do you think she's going to do it? I don't know. They just got back. I'm going to pick one of these 6x8 um, eight by, uh, six by eight canvases, and at the end we're going to give away a 10-minute uh, painting for the, just for our live audience, for those of you who showed up live and hung in there with us. No, so at the end. These. And uh, for those of you who feel like there's a lot of chatting, going on in our live show and you wish you'd just get down to the lessons, come join our academy because that's all we do is just get down to the lessons, step-by-step -step lessons. That's pretty much what we do. Here on the live show, we like to interact, act, you know, tell stories, um, interact with our audience, answer questions, and it's a lot of fun, okay? So we're up for fun. I have a damp brush because John just uh, washed this brush <laughs> from when I used it earlier today. And I'm going to start with ultramarine blue, okay, and a tiny bit of purple. On the brush just like that. I'm going to come across the bottom and I'm going to start with these just brush strokes. I'm pushing pretty hard. Nothing's happened. So I'm going to get more paint. Notice that? A little bit more paint. Too much purple. Okay so now I've come across the bottom like that with this and I want to make sure that I have the paint. Now look what happens. You'll see that I start off the canvas and bring it across and if you're going to stop in the middle lift up otherwise come all the way across. I don't care how big the canvas is Try to go all the way across, or if you must stop, lift up like an airplane taking off on a runway. Okay, so then I'm going to get a little bit more ultramarine blue and come up here like that. Put up maybe just a little bit more, I think a tiny bit of water on the brush, but not much. Just we had a question in regards to that. Why do some of the professionals put water and others don't? You know, when I started acrylic painting, okay, I came from an oil painting uh, uh, mindset, and this was like years ago. There was acrylic paints that just come out, and there were people that used them like watercolor, but, uh, but they were intended originally to be used like oil. And so I use wa a damp brush. I don't use a lot of water. The more water you use, the, um, the hard, well, I'm not going to criticize anybody else or what they do. I don't do it. If you want the kind of oil <laughs> painting effect, that's not what we do. How's that? There you go. Safe, right. safe recovery there. There's safe, safe That's recovery two safe there. recoveries today. So, and, and again, but people that come from a watercolor background would be more tempted to use water. Yes, yeah, okay. I, I would use tons of it. And then um, th they would do that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of white to this in purple, a little bit of white. And I'm going to go over the top of this. See that? So I'm going to add a little bit of white in here, a little bit more white to my brush. See, my brush is already dirty. Now I'm pushing pretty hard and I'm just kind of mixing this white in and as I've got I want it dark down at the bottom but as I come up toward the top under here I want it lighter and I'm just going to blend all that in now see I'm pushing pretty hard lifting up like that there you go now let's, let's do a little bit more up here like this now I could put a little phthalo and ultramarine blue and white too I'll show you just right up in this area let's just do that this there you go now, I'm going to just dampen the brush one more time, and if I wet it, I'm going to just wipe the brush off so I don't have any extra paint. Now, I'm just going to come around here with a brush, and if I start here, I'll lift up. Now, I want it darker on the sides down here at the bottom, so I'll come off from the edge and lift up, off from this edge and lift up. 
So I don't mind a few streaks in here, and I also want a little more white in this area. So I'm going to just come in here like that and work that in and lift up as I do. Work this little area in here, maybe use the side of my brush. We don't want stripes to kind of melt that in there. Okay, and lift up. Now that's pretty easy, right? That's really all we're doing, just, just that. Now on the top, what we're going to do is take white, got some phthalo blue, <coughs> and a little bit of um, burn umber, not much, and white. And I want to come, let's see, a little bit more white with that. I'm going to come up here on the top of my picture, right over here, like that, and I'm going to probably come down like this. I'm going to smooth it out with all the brush strokes going back and forth. A little bit of, tiny bit of water on the tip of my brush, but not much, back into here. And um, for those of you who are having trouble, um, you know, a big canvas and it's drying out too fast, I'm going to really suggest some of this Satin Glazing Liquid by Golden. Uh, that will make it uh, flow a little easier. Um, here we go. It's going to overlap like this. I'm going to overlap. Keep going. All the way across. And then, I, again, I can feel this dragging on my brush. I'm going to get a tiny bit of water on the brush, tamp it off. <coughs> Sorry, tap it on a rag. I have to get you if you run downstairs and get my cough drops. <coughs> you know, I haven't coughed all day, but I haven't talked to anybody all day either. So, all right. Now, as I get down toward the bottom here, toward toward this area, I'm going to put more white on my brush. So I want it lighter down toward the horizon and uh, darker up at the top. And this is this. Uh, that's just the whole trick on this. And if now, I'll come up here on the very top to a little ultramarine blue. Just pull and lift up so that my corners are darker. A little ultramarine blue, or rather phthalo blue, not ultramarine. This is the phthalo on the top, ultramarine's on the bottom. Okay. Coming across here like that. And I want to just look at my sky for a minute. Now, acrylics dry darker, but this is pretty much, you know, the look that I want. And uh, here's a little more white. Come this way. I'm going to lighten this up right in here. Okay, and I might take just a tiny bit of... I'm just going to rinse all the paint out of my brush and wipe it off. Now it's just damp. Now I'm just going to come across and smooth some of this out. But it's a damp brush, not a wet one. And you come across and lift up. Okay? With the idea being that you want it darker on the top. So if you've got to do that, you can come back into the darker colors and lift up. Here's cut. That's all there is to this. Okay. Now in the middle here, we're going to take a little bit of burnt umber, and um, not necessarily a, um, a, a stripe, but I'm just going to come here where the dark blue was. Take a little burnt umber, a little ultramarine blue, and make sort of a dark color here like that. Okay. And then we're going to dry it. Now it's pretty easy, right? You're going. Oh, cool, right? It is kind of cool. And, Why uh, do we use phthalo blue up top and ultramarine blue on the bottom? Uh, the reason we do that is because the ultramarine blue is the um, is the ocean color. Phthalo blue is our sky color, and we want the contrast of the two blues. This is a design decision. It's not a rule. It's a design decision. How's that? An artist's decision, as it were. Yeah, it's a design decision. All right, now I'm going to take a little of this light purple, come up here like this with a little bit of white, and just blend this in before it dries too much. Lighten this up right like that. Okay. All right, but it's all blended in. Do you see that? Everything's kind of nicely blended in. And um, just come across and lift up. That is your whole secret. Come across and lift. Either all the way across or lift up. There you go. That. All right, so let's dry that. Do we have any questions before we dry? Any questions before we dry? Yeah, any queens? Is that, was that a hard concept for you there, darling? <laughs> Ginger, that's awful. You still have a cough? Wow. You left with a cough. I left and I was all better. And then I got up there in the last... you think it was Alaska. My God, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. I brought a pair of shorts. Never saw those. I brought two pairs of jeans. Just lived in those. And um, sweaters. Nikki would like to know, is there a technique you, you, used, you used to swear by that you no longer do? You know, something you used in the olden days 
that you thought was a cat's meow? Remember the cat's meow? Yeah, back back when I was in my 20s and stuff, really. When I, back even at the time when I won that Liquitex contest, I used to use a lot of Payne's Gray. Believing on some erroneous level I wasn't using black. And Payne's Gray is really ultimately blue and black, so of course I was. But, <laughs> um, you know, I, mean, I, think, I remember explaining that to someone, too, and they just looked at me like I was just, just sad, right? Yeah, sure. You get these ideas. And also, you know, I'll tell you what, paint companies change hands, and the paint can go to can Ooh, change. I, almost, I, I almost heard what you were going to say. I know, and the paint can change, <laughs> and there you go. And so, yeah, so sometimes there may be something I might swear by, and I tell you what, if they change their brand or, you know, I used to love, for instance, a good example of that is I used to love, before I found, found Posca pens, the only ones I found that even worked at all were the uh, their Uni uh, Stafford oil paint pens, but and they worked until they didn't, and they dried up, and you just bought lots of them, right? This these pens we've had forever. They keep they don't dry for about five minutes. And they so, keep on trucking. And so th they don't dry inside the cap. I mean, these are the best pens I've ever found. So yeah, if I find something better, everybody's toast. You know, that's what, it. One more question from Carol: uh -huh. What is the most important artist tool? There's something you can't live without in your studio. I would say a paintbrush and paint. Yeah, paint and paint, yeah. But if you're talking about other than the paint, the canvas, and all that junk, right? Yeah. You really need a tool, a T-square. You really need a T-square, or that's that's one our triangle. You really have to have one of those. I, I would put a color wheel up at the top of the Well, a color too. wheel, too, but a color wheel, T-square. I've got a video on all the stuff you should get up there on YouTube, the things that we have. That you should have, right? No palette, <coughs> metal palette knives, all that stuff. All right, I'm going to dry this. Is that all right, with you guys? We're Why did you in? decide to switch from oil to acrylic? Well, I wasn't. Um, uh, I was. I was 17 when I started with acrylics. All right. And you, and, were, and, you were just exploring. So I'm just media. starting mediums, and my mother was an oil painter. So. And um, acrylics came out, and I thought I'd do that. You know. <laughs> all right. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Muting you. All right. She is uh, drying that. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching our videos while we were gone. Um, we, we released, I think, six of them. And we appreciate that. You guys hanging in there with us. We have uh, a great adventure up in uh, Alaska. I uh, did a train ride that was just fantastic. It's on the narrow track going all the way up to the Yukon or somewhere up there. I don't know. It was cold and it was beautiful, though. We got a lot of pictures of all the different areas, and we're going to translate those into some paintings, hopefully real soon, as we get back into the swing of things. You're back, boss? Isn't that, isn't that interesting how quickly that works? Uh, it is amazing how hair dryers can dry paint. Yeah, I love it. I love I it. So it happens. works very fast. You don't have to. Now we're going to... I sure wouldn't want to be without these angle brushes once I found those. I uh, just love those up to death. Yeah, okay. And skipping here in Los Angeles, but nowhere else. We're right. we're clean here. All right. So what we want to do here is um, we want to come up about um, three fingers from the top here. This is where I'm going to start my. So we descent. abandon the ruler. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, because it's all kind of you know it's 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 if it's iffy, right? All right. So we're going to start with that. We're going to take a. We're going to take uh, an angle brush. This is a 3 8 inch angle brush. We're going to wet it, and then we're going to wipe it off on a towel. Then we're going to take ultramarine blue and yellow. Okay, it's for a nice dark uh, green, and maybe a little purple in that. Maybe a little burnt umber. Okay, nice dark green. We're going to just come on up here like this and uh, fill in this space. Don't outline. Start at the bottom and work your way up, okay? And then when you come up to this area like that, use the edge of it and so that you don't have a fence or anything. You have something kind of a variety of shapes and, and top areas here. And we're going to just sort of tuck in. Maybe we've got a little lone bush down here like this. That's Remember, you don't want picket fences. Okay. Now, um, that's pretty easy. Now let's take a little bit of yellow oxide in yellow. And while this is still wet, just kind of roll the brush around and tap. You know, I mean, that's the secret. Just kind of with too much paint roll the brush around and tap. And one of the th reasons you'll see me wipe my brush off oftentimes on the canvas is because I'm um, on the canvas or on a rag. On a rag. Well, on a rag or on the palette, rather. It's, it's because I'm, I don't want big globs of paint on here. So I'm using this 
my brush here and I'm mixing as I go and just saying the top part of this is lighter okay like that then I'm going to just wipe the brush off I'm not going to rinse it I'm going to take a little yellow and cad red medium and a tiny bit of purple <clears throat> not much just a teeny bit like a drop or two so I'm kind of tone that down a bit okay and I'm going to say that in here somewhere I'm just tapping this into my greens I've got some sort of um, bank along here like this and um, and I'll take a little white, put it on the brush as I'm doing it, and then work that in, okay? I'm going to say that this is a little bit lighter here, a little lot lighter beach maybe, or something coming along here like that. So it's all a matter of blending as you go. While it's still wet, see? This is the secret. While it's still wet, you're trying to do that, right? A little bit of something up into here like that. Okay, so there we go. Here we, we have a question here now. Third time to charm. What's the difference between green shade and red shade, phthalo blue, golden paint? Does Ginger uh, use the green shade only on the basic palette, or are they interchangeable? I don't know about golden. I don't buy that brand enough to tell you. I know that uh, phthalo blue is, is, is meant to be a turquoise blue, right? And not, uh, not an ultramarine blue. Uh, so in golden, and Liquitex is the only one I know of that does... I think golden makes a turquoise phthalo blue, but I mean regular phthalo blue is what everybody across the board says it is, and it's this nice turquoise color, and when you add white to it, okay, now this is really simple, just add some white to your paint, see what happens. Here, there's white in it, that's what it's supposed to look like, okay? Now here's some ultramarine blue, add white to that, and it's different, I had a little phthalo in there, but it, this is what it looks like. So, you know, that's, that's what you're looking for you know, on these two blues. And I can do pretty much everything with those two blues once I've, I've got it going, okay? I'm going to lighten this up a little bit, put a little bit of light in here like that. Okay. When you said this painting would be good larger, what do you consider larger for this? Well, I mean, I think I, I would like to see it kind of maybe longer and skinnier, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe have less of this and extend that peninsula out maybe. So you're a little bit like a, what, a 20? You know, 10 by 20 something like that and yeah. I think you could make an interesting long skinny painting out of it we've got the lighthouse um, I think it, I don't know I just think it would be kind of interesting it just depends on, on how you did it we don't you know we don't always have time on a YouTube show to do that but um, uh, you can see like this is all wet here right all this right this what are you is, using is that your 3 8 you're using yeah that's the 3 8 that's a damp brush here <laughs> well, just touching it right like that. Now I have to dry that. Now while I'm drying that, I'm going to just put that over here for a second. And we're going to talk a bit about uh, the shape of these little houses. This is back to, I've been trying again to figure out, you know, what to explain to you. When you're doing, it's like here's our um, little peninsula that we've got going out here. Now we're going to say, and we don't want to put the house dead center, off to dead center. So if I have two lines, these have got to be parallel. These lines have to be parallel to the sides of the canvas. All right, so if you if you imagine you were making a arrow, okay? Okay, so if you're not sure, draw a line down the center and then do something on both sides. There's your arrow. Now, we're gonna come back like this, this line here, and these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, and then this is straight down. Now, we're not gonna talk about, you know, the angle of it because we're gonna hide it behind the bush. That's pretty easy, right? Now this other one has a little roof coming out like this, and then we're hiding the rest of it. So this is white and here, this is red roof, and no, nobody's talking about this, right? And then over here, we're gonna do another little building. Just, we're barely gonna see that roof, another little building. And now our, our lighthouse um, is a kind of a, um, what do you call it, cone shape, okay? It's cone shape. And then it um, has a little cap on it, you know, and it's, um, and then it's going to be kind of, I don't know, I can do this or not. You know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to shade it on one side to make it look round. And then it's going to have some, you know, some stuff around it, you know, like a thing. And it's got some little lines and stuff like that. Okay. Like that, something like that. So that's really, and now when we do the, Highlights, when we do the reflection, you've got to go in your mind, straight
straight down from here like that, right? Right? With me, still with me, right? And it doesn't have to be perfect if you want to come down like this. And it's going to be as long as whatever that is, right? So, you know, that, those are kind of how your reflections. But we're going to do our reflections in zinc white or mixing white so that you don't really see. And we're going to suggest reflections. We're not making this too crazy on you for you. And then we're just going to come up here and do that. I mean, I think that's kind of nifty keen, don't you? Nifty keen it is. Nifty keen, yeah. Nifty keen. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty simple. You've got to make sure this is at this angle. Um, here's your little roof. Um, you know, here's the next little 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 housey thing here. And, um, I mean, it's really, really very simple. So, um, so it's sometimes simple. Is, sometimes it's hard to do simple. We've got, for instance, um, conversely, for our members this month, we thought we would do something. Being gone, John and I spent about four hours yesterday, and I was painting this painting, and I thought instead of giving it just to the wave and water, I would give it to the whole member, all our members. This is a um, one of our old dead guys, and it's Fritz. a canal, and it's a uh, uh, Fritz Thalo. Fritz Thalo. Okay, we've done others by him, and I want you to notice all these buildings are not dissimilar to our lighthouse in the way they're done. This roof's a little different, but basically it's the same idea, don't you think so? And um, so we, I'll show you how to grid this in. So if you want to make it really, really big or really small, you can. And, you know, this size, this was neat. This is a 11 by 14, and it's real linen, a real linen canvas. I thought it'd be fun that we've had this one for a while. came from Russia. came from um, the Ukraine. The Ukraine. Uh, it's by Odessa. Odessa. I found it at Jerry's, 11 by 14. And it's an extra fine and probably really good for portraits and stuff. But anyway, I thought I'd use it on this. And so that's that's going to be coming up this Thursday for our Academy members, or at least this week if John gets it done by Thursday. And also, it'll be also in the Wave and Water Master Class, okay? So that being said... Yep, everybody's getting that one. Everybody's getting that one. Going back to the hairdryer issue, mm -hmm. can you overdry and burn your paint? And if you do, what can you do about it? Uh, nothing. You burn your paint. <laughs> but I've never done that. You know? I haven't either. I've I mean, never you done that. Fall asleep on I used a heat gun on it until I burned the heat gun off. That's what I did. I burned up the heat gun. I never burned up the paint. Okay? But no, I've never had that experience, right? Yeah. But you can certainly, you know, one thing about it, if you hit it with cold air, sometimes when you're drying something, even when it's dry, it feels sticky. And if you'll dry it, if then you feel blast it with cold air, um, then it kind of sets it. So I'm going to dry this again, right? Right, boss. In regards to the reflection being the same length as the subject, again, it depends on the angle of the view. Um, you have to think about it. Your angle, there's a lot of geometry and math involved to determine the actual length. It's always best to use a photograph reference and don't try to predict what it's supposed to be. Okay, so then I want to come over. I'm just going to measure. Somebody wants to know what the wave and water is. Ginger. The wave and water master class is that uh, we have two. We have so those of you new to us, we have um, an art an online acrylic art academy, and we also include uh, you know for our members. But one of the things that perks on it is a uh, personal art coaching, where people send me their artwork, and I make small videos about what they've done and send it back. And uh, we, we've been doing that for a number of years, and we finally have a waiting list for the personal art coaching, but not for the academy. And our Wave and Water Master Class is where we focus. You don't have to be a master to take it, but we, if you, my feeling is if you just do nothing but water, from waterfalls to oceans to uh, waves to all, all these things, lakes, um, if you focus on water, you're going to get really good at painting it. Hmm? And, and, that's what, and so every month, our Wave and Water Master Class gets a, 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 new, pe a new piece of art. All right, and occasion. Now that's not to say we don't have some paintings in our, our regular video lesson library. Who, and by the way, our video lesson library members get a new painting every week. All right, and and there's something different. And sometimes it'll be a one cookie, very simple. Sometimes it'll be like I, the one I just showed you, a uh, very complicated. That would um, be a box here, of cookies. Here's an example of a wave and water masterclass that I did. At first, I originally did this small for the people that wanted to see it. I painted it as a small one. And then the actual lesson is is very large, all right? 
and uh, we have that picture around here somewhere. But our Wave and Water Masterclass is is really one of my favorite things that we do. And also on YouTube, we have uh, you know some nice paintings. This was a Monet of boats. This is a YouTube lesson. Uh, we got a bunch of those. It's called I think this one's called Regatta or something. So you know we've got different. You know we want people to be able to focus on certain subjects, and you get good at it. That's just the bottom line. Okay. So thank you for asking what the Wave and Water Masterclass is. All right, so I want to come over here about four and a half inches. Uh, and now from back the, to the ruler. Well, because I, I didn't want to. Um, here, let's see. What is that? <clears throat> four and a half, right about there. Um, all right, I'm just going to come up here like this and draw in my first house. Okay, with chalk. And then here's my next one, um, probably up like this. And then I've got a small one right here I'm tucking in. And then over here, hiding back underneath these trees, is our um, our um, lighthouse. Lighthouse. We're not getting, you know, we're not, we don't have to get too clever with it, but um, um, there's our lighthouse. Okay, so that's what we've got back this way. I want it white at the base. I mean, you can't really. <clears throat> I think I messed up here somehow. I did. I've got to, if that's there, sorry, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Mess this house up. It's hard to mess up a house, too. How did I even do that? Got everything a little crowded. See, try, I like to start with sharp pencils. That would be so good, wouldn't it? All right, there's this. And those pencils are? These are Conte pencils. They're really hard. Even with a sharpener, they're just impossible to sharpen. All right, I'm moving that over a little bit, moving this, I'm moving everything over a little bit. Okay. There, you're all, let's see, let's try, let's try plan B, different chalk. All right, here we go. Plan B, different chalk. All right, I know I want, I want my lighthouse there, I want you here. So everybody's moving over like that. We're just moving the whole ball of wax over. There, and then you're moving over here, here, and you're, here, okay, like that. Okay, that's what we're doing. I've got it. I've got it down here. And how tall is my little house? This is important because I want it to be about um, uh, an inch and a half from the top. And I got to lower him a little bit. And that's fine too. I can do that. I can lower him um, just a touch. There. Okay. He's lowered. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to just take a little tiny, um, this is a quarter inch um, white brush, it's an uh, angle brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is titanium white, and I'm just going to paint my, um, my arrow in, okay? Like that. And um, here's the sides of this house. I'm going to paint that in. It's going to get some shrubbery. We're going to landscape it. And then here's this little one here, like that. Here's this tiny one right here. And then I'm going to turn my picture sideways to do my lighthouse. And I used yellow chalk, which probably wasn't clever, because the um, um, paint's going to take on the color of the chalk. Okay. Now turn it this way. And just have it kind of cone, so cone shaped. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's take a little bit of white and ultramarine blue, tiny bit, like that, and take this this side just gray this side a little bit. And on this side, we'll just gray a little bit of that right there. Okay. Now I know that sounds. I mean, this is pretty basic. Now I'm going to rinse the brush, wipe it off. Okay going to come up with white and cad red medium and um, a little bit of yellow like that maybe a tiny bit of purple like just a drop of purple so it's not so a little more white well maybe a yellow oxide let's get that kind of a kind of a sal salmon color for the roof and I want to come down here like I'm going to lower this roof I had it a little high I'm going to lower the roof this has got to be at an angle like that. And here you go. Just straight across here like that. 
Is this at an angle? These are angles like that. Okay. Um, now look, see this big glob of paint I've got on there? You've got to wipe, you've got to pinch your brush, reshape it, and then do something like this. If you're not, um, if you're not drawing in between, that's a key that you reshape stuff. Okay. All right, so I'm going to say that happened there. And um, this is like that. There's this. Oh, all right. And then we're going to say that um, uh, I want to do something up here with the, with the top of the lighthouse. Um, but this is too big a brush for that. So I'm going to dry all this, okay? That's the next step. People are going, why are you doing all this drying? Well, um, <clears throat> because if you don't, you have a hot mess. The biggest thing, I see two mistakes that people make a lot. And one of them is, they get globs of paint on their canvas, just big globs like they're putting peanut butter on a sandwich. And then they wonder why their painting doesn't come out, or they don't use enough paint. So the trick is, is put a, you put paint on your brush, wipe it off. Even if you only do a little tiny bit, then add more paint, then wipe it off, add more paint, wipe it off your brush. But not, but don't glob it on like peanut butter, okay? Brush drying? <laughs> yes, go ahead, boss. Do you have any questions? Should I answer before I dry? Um... Somebody asked, have you ever used yellow and black to make green? Sure, yellow and black make it, makes a great green. The thing is, nothing wrong with black. You know, I say, sometimes I, you'll hear me contradict myself on that. The thing is that most people just rely on black to mix colors instead of learning how to mix them. You know, black's one of those colors that, you know, if you're, uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, they're going to change and dull everything. It's if you... Uh, they just do. Um, as a colorist, and I'm considered a colorist rather than a tonalist artist. So I rarely use black, but I'm not against it. You know, uh, but and it will do. Yellow and black will make green. Absolutely. That we, was in our adventures of green. I kind believe. of an olive green. When we did the painting party stuff, you know, I taught painting parties for years to to uh, to 30, 40 drunk people all at once <clears throat> who were so smashed, and then uh, then they went. You know, I just don't understand why my painting's not coming out. You know, you, you wouldn't get behind a wheel, but you want to do something a little more perfect. It's one thing to loosen up. I mean, when you know, I had one lady face paint, face paint, her face right in the paint. She was so, she was so smashed. So she said, I'm not kidding. And it's just, um, all right, this is a st true story. I had this one way, 35 people. It was chaos. My boss that, that I work for, who had actually given the ID of the painting parties too, um, we were out of paper plates. We were out of everything. I mean, uh, he overbooked it. We had to tell some people they had to leave. I didn't overbook it. They did, right? So we had a bunch of disgruntled people, and it was all—it was just chaos, man. And anybody else would have just quit and left, you know, at that point. But you know, we're keeping on, and we're doing these snowmen. And um, there's this one woman in the back, and she's going, "I don't understand what you're doing. You're going too fast. You're going too fast." And I, now I know I go fast here on YouTube because we don't have six hours. To, you know, to do this. But honestly, what we were painting, I'll show you, what we were doing was a snowman with two circles like this. I don't understand how to do that. I mean, you know, at, at some point, you know, because she was really done, at some point, you know, just everybody, no one else was having a problem with her. You have to come back and show me. I come back, put the, take some chalk, put the circle in. Come back, you're going too fast. And finally I said to her, I don't know. I think that... Um, uh, 35 out of 30, 36 people isn't very bad odds here for people <laughs> seeming to understand what I'm doing. Well, wow, you're one rude person. I'm going to tell your boss. I'm thinking, yeah, go ahead and tell him, and I'll take all my little toys home because 90% of all the art they had was mine, of, and he didn't own any of it. I said, sure, tell him. I can't wait, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just make my day. Make my day, lady. But, I mean, honestly, uh, really, there's a... I understand the benefit of these and that they teach people that they can paint. Sometimes a glass of wine just relaxes people enough because their hand isn't jake. They can have a good time. But that was a that was a thing, see? See, I took all that time. You got a story out of me, my wine and paint. And then we had some instructors. Oh, my gosh, he would hire people. He used to think that you could pour, put a quarter in and get an artist out, and anybody <laughs> could teach one of these things, right? That was the other thing that just used to slay me. And uh, so he hired this, I mean, I like this girl. She was really sweet, but she just, any fool could tell she just walked around life stoned. You know what I mean? She was just stoned all the time. So <laughs> so sometimes she was my assistant, and sometimes they had her painting, you know, teaching these classes. I mean, at one point I was working five, seven days a week, okay? Sometimes we didn't get home till one in the morning. Anyway, um, as I'm doing this, I'm going to do up here with a little bit of red here, a little tiny brush, just a quarter inch. 
I've got the tape on it in case you ask, so that's my good one. I taped the new ones so I know which is which. I want to come up with a, like a little triangle on the top here. All right, so anyway, so this girl, she, they had her down, and then she had an assistant, a little college kid that was her assistant. I'm going to come down under here like that, put the red back. Anyway, so she, um, uh, she just sat there in the class one day. She was she came in so so stoned, whatever she was taking, you know, that um, she um, just sat in front of the class and did nothing, and then started laughing and just kind of flopping around. And this kid was just hysterical. That was her her, her assistant because he called the boss. What am I supposed to do? He says, "Can you teach it?" Like you know, it just I think he they finally figured out they just it, just because somebody can paint even doesn't necessarily make them able to convey that skill to somebody else, okay? And then there's an awful lot of people that um, are teaching in a campaign at all. Don't just, but it's okay, nothing's too hard for that. Not too many hard things either. All right, do you see where we put this? Make sure you round this at the bottom, please, like a little round here and here to show that it's round. That's very important. Round that. See, we're getting there with our little paint. Now, I want to say that this side of my... Um, uh, tower here is 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 in the sha sha shadow, so I'm going to take a little white and blue, and I'm going to just just make a little shadowy part right there, maybe like like this on this side too, underneath there. See that? And I've got it on this side, a little bit of sh sh shade there. Okay. Yeah, those are small things, just small things to do. Gosh, I'm all out of ultramarine blue. How did that happen? Good. Paste planted that in there. Okay. Is that ultramarine blue? No, that's phthalo. Well, that wasn't helpful. Where did the ultramarine blue go? You know, we put this stuff out every day, I swear. Here it is. And um, anyway, so that's what you do. You put that little, make sure on the lighthouse that you put that little, uh, you make sure that those, those are curved. Here's a little ultramarine blue and white. I think I'd like that better as a shadow than even here like that. Let's just do that. Okay. Let's just do that right under here. On this side, okay. All right, so we're gonna. We've got. There's not a lot to this. I know you guys are thinking this is some mystery, but already we're we're halfway done or more, huh? Any other home questions? Stretch. You are on the home stretch. Kevin. Well, okay. So anyway, see so what else we did? Those painting parties. So we, um, that was. Um, oh yeah, we had a painting party one time at some club in Houston for um, extremely wealthy people. And this lady's job that hired us, her job was to entertain these people uh, 365 days a year. There had to be something to do. And our boss had scheduled a painting party, and we had to go all the way up, uh, three service elevators and lug everything, the chairs, the tables, everything up there to set up for this painting party. We're very bored people who couldn't give a rip about it. It was just ho-hum, something different to do, right? And it was just, it was just interesting. It was way on the top floor of... Oh, uh, in one of the buildings in Houston. How many, how many people were at that one? Oh, I don't know. There's probably 50 people that showed up for that. Jeez. You know, and I had one assistant. It's just me. I don't know. I said, don't ask me again to do that because I'm never going back. I want you to know that. About the third uh, service elevator, I was really over the experience. <laughs> just uh, not to be snotty, but I just really, um, you know, you want to get somebody to ha haul that stuff up there. Okay, now remember we talked about this. Oh, we're going to do our shadows. We're waiting for that to dry. Now, I've just put out, um, this is called um, zinc white or mixing white. Okay, this is in the fluid form, but you could. it also comes in um, in a, a tub like this golden or in a, in, a, in a tube. This is golden. So this is called zinc white, which is a very translucent white. Now, the secret is we talked about that, right? I'm just going to take some tape, and I'm doing that because I want to come straight down from here. I just want to make sure that I get get this one right, okay? And I'm going to end it right um, right like about like that. Now the question has come up, how do you know how long to make your reflection? That's a good one, John. That is a really good one. You know that? I like that question. I'm going to, I would ring the bell if it was close. That is the question of the night. How do you know how long to make the reflection? I'm cheating. I'm making it up, but that's not how you're supposed to do it. How's that? Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. And I, I, I'm absolutely cheating. I don't want it that straight. I'm going to uh, basically want to do now is I've got it there. 
I don't want it that good, right? So then I'm just going to kind of mess it up a bit. Okay, but I wanted to make sure at least I had it in the general ballpark. Basically, it's a mirror. So if you were to trace this and flip it upside down in the water, that's where it would go. You just It's the same height as whatever this is, okay? And you just flip it upside down. It's the mirror image. It literally is the mirror image of what you're painting, okay? Now, what I'm trying to do here is not do such a perfect one, Okay, and the same thing here, like for instance, straight down here, um, this would be kind of in here like that. Um, it's not really about the tape either. It's just, I just sort of want to get it in the ballpark of where I want to say the reflection is, right? So I'm just, there, I've got this mixing white, very translucent, right, like this. And then I'll come down here, I just kind of, I just want to make sure that it was, it was under what I was uh, reflecting, okay? And then what we're doing here is we're just going to bring it down. And then um, I've got a little one right here and just something right like that, right? So not again, we're, I'm not trying to get too technical. This is kind of weird, but then I'm just going to take a, a little bit of a Kleenex and just sort of wipe it off like that. Just sort of wipe, you know, kind of smear it back. Then I want to set, take a little bit of this orange paint, right, and, and maybe just a teeny bit of that, right? And just suggest, um, let's see, that's, let's put some mixing white with that too. I want to just suggest this color without it, um, you know, that's, that's all we're doing, is just suggesting the color here. Hey, we'd like to thank Two World Swings for the donation. Oh, Two World Swings, you guys do that for us and we appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Those are, you know, you guys, that is so nice. When we're, it seems like the, the most, um, um, you know, support we get is in our live shows, and we thank you very much for it. Very nice. Her now, comment is, even though I have to figure the painting in digital, I appreciate the, you guys for the time on the free tutorials. Thank you very much. Okay, now, what I have to do here now is come in here with the green, right? And I want to come below the beach with the darker green here, and I'm going to come down in here, kind of hide some of this, and I'm just going to come underneath here like this with some green, okay? And, and Okay, like that. There's some green coming down this way, like this. And let's see, I wanted a little bit of, um, a little bit of that orange up here on this house, like this, this roof, just to suggest this, right? It's really, you, honestly, if you trace this and just flipped it over, that's how you do it, right? But I didn't want to. I didn't want to do such a perfect reflection. Does that make sense? I didn't want you to feel like you had such a, have have such a perfect reflection. Now, I'm taking this little brush and I'm going to bury some of this up here now, with the green, maybe a little phthalo blue, and a tiny bit of cad red medium, and I've got some brighter yellow coming up here, like this. See that? So I'm lightening up this more yellow. Come here, more yellow. There you go. I want to lighten up this around our house. See, I want mostly. I don't want to see those little houses. They're here, but we're we're, we're get, they've got some landscaping. That's all. Okay, like that. Okay, so it's the top of that. And I might bring a little of this down here, like this, the water. Okay. Should and, the brown be reflected in the water before the green? Probably should have, but I didn't. It kind of messed the picture up, so I didn't do it. So um, you do yeah. yours. I'm going to just take a clean brush and wipe off that chalk that was here. So you can see what you're working with. See, I'll just take a clean brush and kind of clear away that chalk. Um, I, again, I didn't, I wasn't trying to do it that perfectly. Here's a little dark brown, and I want a little dark brown right here on the side of our bank here, a little bit of burnt umber here. Okay, like that. And I'll make sure I have some dark green over here. I think it's pretty, still pretty dark, okay? Now, I don't have a lot of dark, but I have a little dark, bit of dark right there. Now, this little brush, you see me pinching it all the time. Now I'm gonna take some, uh, just come here at an angle like that, do some tiny little steps going up there. You like that? Nicely done. Just a nice up to that house and some sort of wall. I mean, you could say this is anything. You could say this was some sort of retaining wall. We're just making this up anyway, right? Say this is some sort of a little bit of orange down in here, maybe a little bit of orange up in here to get some color. And um, again, I might put a, um, 
I still have to do more with the tower. Now, I guess you could tape the tower if you wanted straighter lines. That is true. Um, you could tape that tower, but I, I don't think you have to be that fussy with it. Okay, and if you really want to be fussy, then do a mirror image and all that stuff, right? Okay, so here I'm just going to, what I'm doing here is just erasing the, the chalk, which is making me nuts. And make sure your it's just a wet brush. And that makes sure your paint's dry before you do that, okay? So they have that. And I want to make sure that I've got some. Uh, um, now, if I take a little bit of white and brown, for instance, and a little bit of cad red, I guess, with it, a little bit of yellow, kind of a tan color, more brown, more white. That's titanium white. <clears throat> okay, I might come along here like this. Lighten this up here on the beach. So, you know, it's hard to say where my reflections start and the ground is, too. See, if I do something like that, then... Um, You're kind of blurring the lines. I'm blurring the lines. I'm not saying what's what. Ha ha, you like that? Not saying what's what. Oh, for those of you who asked about the reflection, what you won is either a free downloadable lesson at gingercooklive.gallery or one week at our academy. Um, uh, first, just use the contact us. And um, uh, we'll uh, we'll get you set up. Tell us whether you'd like a downloadable lesson, uh, you know, complimentary downloadable lesson, or whether you would prefer the um, uh, you know a week of our academy lessons. Okay. Now while this is drying, I'm going to take the back of this, and I want to just start right there and put a little, put a window there, straight down. Okay, there you go. Don't make them black because it gets too dark. A little window. What would you consider to be your must-have fluid paints? What color? Well, if I had anything, I mean, for sure, white and zinc white and dark brown and maybe black. Those would be the must-have. Judy, so not, guitar, gave me these beautiful sets of, of fluids, right? And they came with two whites and a like golden, a yellow or red, a magenta, a thalo green, a yellow oxide, and I guess the other two colors you see here. And it was a raw umber. I would really think a, I, I would like a really dark color. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put a little, just going to exaggerate this a little bit right there. This is still our zinc white. Just take it with my finger. I just, I really don't want to do that much. And then I want to take a little bit of um, a blue and just kind of go across it. Let's take a little bit of zinc white with that too. Just, um, you want to just, in other words, what you're saying is if you, when you have a reflection like this, you don't want to get too carried away with it because you want it to still seem like it's a reflection. And uh, again, we weren't trying to, um, you know, get to, let's see, that's probably the wrong color. I want ultramarine. Hey, we'd like to here. thank Vicki and Linda for the donations. Vicki and Linda, thank you very much. That is really nice. Art would <laughs> like to know, Ginger, can you use bird sand mixed in with the paint? Or structure um you know it's interesting if you have like a gel like a, a like a um you know like a heavier or light gloss gel you can put that in there and that that will give sand texture to your gel but I don't know about putting it in the paint um, itself I don't know what that would do with it do there was a woman that um, was making a pretty good living um, you know taking ashes from cremated animals not to be put too, you know, to be too unkind about this, and putting them into the paint and painting it. So you'd have your animal in the painting. And it was interesting is that people paid her a lot of money for that, and they were the most hideous paintings you have ever seen. Every one of you could have done a better painting. And I mean, I mean, to me, that's just such a horrible idea that I can't express it. But you know, um, it, you know, she, you know, she was selling them, right, um, and and doing very well with it. Um, so people do put stuff in their paints, but I don't think that would be one that I would recommend, no, in your paint manufacturer. But if you've had success with it, uh, Cinnamon and I were at an art show one time, and there was this, um, um, just going to add a little bit more of this and bring it down like that. Just want a little bit more reflection than I had. You can always come back and kind of doodle it up here. There you go. Something like that. I think that's working. Now, um, uh Anyway, so we were at this art show in New York, and this kid was, he was painting with blood. Little windows right here. With blood blood, people blood, right? 
And then Cinnamon, who had taken this great history of art class, um, knew all about this German artist that died because he was painting with his blood. Um, interesting, right? Um, yeah, so I guess people paint with different things. Um, but um, I don't know if that's the best idea. A little bit darker over here like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take that Posca pen and uh, that little black pen. And I, I want to just... I know I'm going to get these back, and somebody's when I say I get these back, people people will send this to me for your art critique. Let me just say, here's your lighthouse like that, okay? So your stripe has to curve like this, okay? It has to curve, and your balcony is going to have to curve. These lines are straight up and down. Your balcony is going to curve. Your um, cone's going to be centered over this thing, right? So if you're doing, and one side's got to be shaded, okay? So just want to make sure you get those curves just when you're doing this because it's a pretty simple it's pretty simple and the pins make it so much easier to do. You know, the trick is you shake them and you could a brown pen would have worked on this too if you didn't want to go black. There's a lot of black on lighthouses and so we kept I wanted to keep this pretty simple. I figured everybody would have a black pen. So I want to come down a little bit. Okay, coming under here like this. You could google lighthouses and how they're decorated too. And uh, um, maybe you got, again, I want to put my little uh, balcony out here like this. And it's kind of hard to do any other way. And if you everything's dry, okay, here's our little windows coming down like that. If everything's dry, then um, if your Posca pen doesn't work out, you can... Um, uh, wipe it off, do it again. All right, now I, I kind of jumped the gun on that a little bit because what I should have done, you're going, yeah, okay, that had been good. And so take a little tiny bit. Of, I don't have the red on one side of the, you know, I, I shaded the white, but I didn't shade the red. So here's a little red, just pure red and purple. I want kind of, a, you could have used a ultramarine blue too. It's kind of a darker color. And now see, I'm going to come, whoops, that's too dark. Okay, all right, I'm going to take a little bit of darker red here. I'm going to say right here on this side of the canvas. And I would probably should have done that. I should have dried the black before I did that. Here it is on this side too, on the top of this cone. Okay, there, that makes it look rounder. I know that's small stuff, but it does, it does make it look, it does, really does make it look rounder. And again, if you didn't have a pen, you could still use a fine brush and very gently uh, put a dark line if you needed to. Like that, you can still do that. If you didn't have a pen, you could still, you could make that work. Okay? And I think I put, um, where did I put the whites? I put those pens out where you could see them. Here's one. Um, I like the fine point on the Posca. Do, not, do we not have a... Um, uh, don't we have a, um, there we go. There we go. That's nice, right? I need a little bit more information, boss. Don't we have a link on our website for where you can get these pens, if you're wondering? I mean, Jerry sells them, but I think we, they sell them on Amazon. We have a link somewhere, don't we? Affiliate link? Yeah. We have an affiliate link. Okay. All right. So now, now then, you're going, wow, that was quick. Wasn't it, wasn't it quick? You know, for Look a... Look at split. Look at these split. I mean, that's a fairly fast little painting. But you know, if you did it small, it would make a cute note card. If you, again, if you took it a little bit, um, you know, and, and and put a little more time into it, you could do certainly do a um, um, a, a larger painting with this. And I think I'd still like to have it a little bit lighter up here on the roof. A little bit lighter. Here we go. A little bit more orange. I want a lighter roof. I put a little white with it. Maybe a little yellow oxide. Didn't really need a lot of yellow oxide. Could have gotten without it, but we're going to lighten that roof. Acrylics dry darker, so sometimes it doesn't hurt to, you know, just lighten things a bit. Revisit them. Revisit them. That's it. See? Like that. So you got a little bit more detail on your uh, lighthouse. We've got a little bit in here. And then the last thing 
uh, back to the drawing board. Drawing board. Let's see what else? Um. Uh. Oh. Here. All right. Who played airplane as a kid? You we were doing did. that, and you just were. Yeah. Remember yeah, that? We just rah, rah, you made the noise. Well, think about if you do a bird like this straight on, that's okay. But if you bank it, it's better. If you if you bank the smaller the line, they're just it's like this. It's almost like the letter letter V someone sat on. Okay, or check mark, not quite. Sometimes you can have a a body like this, and you can put a few little wings going down. Okay, but the smaller the the farther away, the littler they are, and if you make it bigger, then it brings it into the foreground for your goals. Okay? So that's basically how you do those. Good to know, right? Good to know. Good to know. And think about it, playing airplane, banking them. That's, that's what I want to suggest. And I want to, before I get too far with that, I want to make sure, I'm going to give this one coat, one nice dry, and then I want to uh, go ahead and Make sure I've got all the chalk off before I do that. So can I do that real quick? Try yes, this? Yes, you may. Go proceed. All right. Uh, Jerry, you have the question of the day. Jerry Nay, you see, contact us on gingercooklive.gallery. And we will take care of you. Um, Posca pins, Amazon. I see that Wendy has a, probably our affiliate link there. Appreciate it. Whenever possible, if you go to Amazon and use one of our affiliate links, every little dime helps. We just took advantage of Jerry's big sale on Matisse paint, and hopefully I got enough to last for six months. Oh, yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Oh, the other thing on reflections for that question, if something's in water, if you're, let's just say you've got a, um, a like a little loggy thing sticking out of the water, right? Like that, some sort of a little thing. thing. Well, I don't know. What am, what am I going to call that? A, you know, post. All right, you're going to tie a boat up to it, right? There you go. Okay. Now, the reflection for that is going to be straight down. Usually it's wiggly. It's usually the water is ripply, so it's usually like that. But now, if the post is leaning this way, this is where people don't understand. It jackknifes, and you're going this way. So there is some rules in reflection. Conversely, if it's going this way, then it jackknifes and going that way, okay? So this is going, obviously, this is going straight down, all right? But then this is going straight down, but this is going that way. And so it depends on the, on, on if it's slightly, if it's slightly not, sli you know, then it's slightly that way, okay? So that would be it. If it's really that way, then it's really that way, okay? Good to Got know? It. Good to know. I mean that's part of that. I think that was I think that was a very good question about you know how you decide. And really, I think one of the easiest things to do is to just take a piece of paper, tracing paper, of what you've done, and then flip it upside down, and then just um, you know transfer your drawing on. Particularly if you were doing something where the it really was technical. And, you know, here we're just suggesting um, a bit of uh, a reflection. We're not really we we did it very vague with mixing white, so you didn't, didn't even have to be all that great. When, and also, the other rule with reflections is that they're always duller than what they're reflecting. They're never brighter. They're always less bright than what they're reflecting. All right, so this is a clean brush, kind of getting away, cleaning up all the... Um, you just have that damp brush? It's just damp. Yeah, it's damp. It's got a little water on it. Wiped it off. And uh, your, your paint should be pretty dry if you're doing that, right? I want to make sure. But see, this is kind of cute, right? So now, and then if you're doing that, if I did that, then I, I wouldn't want to use the Posca pen on there until that dried. But I'm just looking to see if there's anything else, if anything else I want to do. But I really think I, I kind of, I messed up something down here with my hand or something when I was touching the canvas. When you're painting on an easel, you don't run into that. But see, this is not a problem because I will just take some ultramarine blue, maybe a little uh, purple with it, and just give it another coat like this across the bottom like that and lift up and maybe take a little bit of this mixing white with it. Here's that zinc, and I call it mixing white. This particular stuff is zinc. Mixing white is um, it's a combination of zinc and titanium. Here, so I'm just gonna do that now like that. There we go. I still want this darker down here at the bottom. Nice and dark. A little bit of purple, here we go. 
And then, see, I'm lifting up, and I want it darker in the corners, so I'm lifting up. Okay? Peggy so, totally you, enjoyed tonight and her glass of wine. Well, I think it's great, and I think, and, and I, you know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I think when, when we were on the on the uh, our trip, you know, um, I like a, sometimes if we're eating a heavy steak meal or something, I like a glass of wine because I have this belief that it helps me digest the food, right? I really think that that may, may be true. You can um, certainly tell that to yourself, sweetie. That's what I tell myself. So, <laughs> and, but but on the other hand, you know, um, I can remember a time, you know, for me, my personally. I have a lot of American Indian um, in my bloodline, and you know we're not drinkers. You know, for the generally speaking, we're, you know at least the, our family branch of the family isn't drinkers. You know, so I just generally I don't. But um, but I, and I and I think it's fine to you know have fun. You know, but um, you got to you know if you're wondering, there's a couple of things that are just going to sabotage your 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 picture. And the one thing I would say is either using too much paint not using the hair dryer and just keep going on with colors because when you mix like red and green you get mud and then um and uh you know just taking your time you know i don't doing it. it's a good thing all right so i'm going to shake this pen up this is the fine one the one the the one with the black uh clip that's the wider pen point and i want to just test it first on here because i don't want to drip and i've dried everything right so here we go there's the first bird See how I'm banking them? I want maybe one down there like that. Um, now look, I didn't like that one. Now this is what I love about these pens. Here's a clean brush. I'm just going to erase it. Look at that. Ha ha. Gone. It's gone. So you can't do that. You can't do that with one of the, the Sharpie ones because once you put it down there, it's written, written in stone. Okay. All right. So then I want some tiny ones. I want a few little tiny ones way back here. All right. So they're way back there. So there's my, I think I did pretty good with that. How about this one? Didn't really see that one. There we go. So there's, some, there's I've got some birds flying over. And uh, that, you guys. Uh, is oh, that dry? You're going to sign it. Another 20 minutes to go. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I told you this was really simple to do. Didn't you, you know, I know some of you think, yeah, I don't know, Ginger, it doesn't look that simple to me. But it was simple, wasn't it? I think so. It wasn't that hard to do, really. I mean, I, I could have put a little red right there for this one, right there where the cap was. But I, I think the less is more on a picture like this. You don't want a lot. You just want to suggest that there's, um, you want to suggest that you've got some reflections, but you don't, you don't need too much. I just want to suggest that that's what's there. And I, and I kind of like what we've got going here with a little bit of light right here and just not talk about whatever's over there. You like that? Not talk about it? I know I signed it, but, you know, I'm just saying, right? Here's some, you know, if I wanted to just come up a little bit lighter up in here around this. There. Make that even lighter right there. Yeah, it's a little zinc white. See, it just, it's the, it's the, um, it's the color change that's so pretty. This is what we call gradated backgrounds, and I think that's what makes it pretty. And um, turk, you know, thalo blue is a, like a turquoise blue, and it's complements a complement of orange. And so you put thalo blue and then an orange roof, and it all looks pretty good. So I hope you guys like that. Was that fun? I think it was great. You know, <clears throat> that was a great little lesson. One cookie lesson. One cookie lesson. It just wasn't hard to do. I'm gonna get out my. Um, you know, we talk about this all the time. People say. You know, I, was, I end up as a mess. You guys can see that, right? Just, just a total mess. I found these things, and, and you know, for, for months I've talked about these things and just did it because I wanted to. And somebody wrote and said, you ought to send Ginger some of these towels. She talks about you guys all the time. They, I don't think they ever thought, this company thought, of acrylic artists, uh, you know. Get uh, that dirty? Well, or that, that product would be, would be good for that. But John and I will tell you that um, these are just um, perfect. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have a drawing tonight for a, a ten minute um, you know original painting and then I think the second place uh, two second place winners will get a, a sample of these tub of towels. You guys can try them see if you like them. Sample pack there to show them. We have a sample pack. I don't know. Do I have a sample pack? I give up. Do I? You had it earlier. Well, that doesn't mean diddly squat. Did you guys used to say that diddly squat? Diddly. 
Yeah. Here it is. Look at that. Here, look, and I've already got paint on it. Here, let's clean it up. Look at that. See? You know, clean up the sample package. Look at that. See? Sample package. Ha <laughs> That was dried paint, too. Aren't you impressed? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have this I have this book book. Um my it's called it's made by Twelve South and it's a leather cover for my iPad. And I've had it for I don't know about nine months and the zipper broken. We were we they they guarantee them for a year, and um, but I had some paint on it and I'm going to send it back. But I feel like I will use my tub of towels and clean it up before they see it, right? Because it has the paint on it has nothing to do with the um, with the zipper. But on the other hand, it shows it, it looks like I don't respect it, right? <laughs> but of course, I use that in my art. So basically, Ginger has paint on everything. No kidding. No kidding. So anyway, look, isn't that great? And somebody told me they wet them and use them again. But these are very handy, vitamin E and everything in them. All right, we're putting any questions on this before we say sayonara to this one? Sayonara. Nope. Oh, I remember what I was going to do on this. I forgot. One more thing, okay? Let me, dry, let me dry the birds, okay? Man, I'm on the other side. Setting up for the contest. Dry the birds. Right, because these are. I, uh, I, hey, 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 hello. What? I need to turn you back on before you start blabbing uh, again. Oh, good. Am I on, back on? Yeah, I'm afraid so. All right. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So these are a little white. Let me show you this one, right? So what I did was I took some ultramarine blue and water, right? You tinted them. And I tinted them back just a hair, just like that, so they weren't... Just a so, feather or two. Just a feather, not everything in the bird. Just tinted them back. Oh, I've already done those. Never mind, <laughs> it was these I'm doing. It's coming back to me. I say, yeah, those look pretty good. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I tinted them back, right? Just a bit, right? I'm going to tint this lighthouse right there, too, again. There. Oh, like it. look at that. Isn't that good? There, all right. Uh, just kind of a little glazing. Okay, so that's good, right? Glazing, there you go. So that's what that's called, glazing it back. Sometimes you can do that with your, here's my name. If that was a little bright for the, if that kind of took away from the. It is a little bright. It's a little bright. So I can just tint that back a bit. So it just, first thing everybody sees, and then I'll put a little stripe through it. There, all right, that's the red slash to the name. But that's one of the things you can kind of do. If you get something too bright, you can tint it back. And I think that that's helpful. All right, so let's get down to the nitty-gritty business of uh, painting something for our 10-minute thing. It may for not be 10, 10 minute minutes. 10-minute thing. may not be 10 You're minutes. You're so I technical. I know. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. All right, I guess it's just, it take, takes a while to get back in the swing of things. Oh. We. Uh, Nope. Takes us forever. Are you kidding? Yeah, I mean, just uh, really, um, uh, honestly, t just the time change. The three hours difference from Alaska to us, so the time change was a real was a real trip. Yeah, and I they like kept changing the time. Yeah, every time you turn around, they wanted to call it something else, and you know, you're going just yawn, yawn, right? Yawn, yawn. I know. Everybody, you you have a blank screen there. Don't freak out. Who has a blank screen? I had to get my black bar to go down to the bottom there. Okay. Now I'm ready. Oh, you are. I'm ready. I'm looking about my picture. I haven't decided what background I want. What do I got here? Okay, the I've link is up mind. there. All right, we're doing this one. Oh, that's pretty, John. John makes these. We take the less leftover paint and we, you know, we paint these. I say we. John paints them, <laughs> and then I have things to paint on, which is good because you need things to paint on, don't you think I do? I think I absolutely need things to paint on. All right, so I want something. I can do this with her. Right, here's a little. Um, all right, here's a little. We'll just do a quick flower. What do you think? Quick, quick flower vase. It's almost 4 a.m. here. Where is here? Art house. I think he's in Egypt. We Who's have in Egypt? Uh, New Zealand on too. I believe we wow. There. Okay. Wow. Wow. Really? 4 a.m. That's cool. That's um. That's dedication. Well, wow, um, you know, that's, that, yeah, that's a, that's really, um, that's, yeah, he's in Egypt. Uh, I should have put a piece of paper oh, under I saw this. Earlier. Somewhere here's a piece of paper. What's a piece of paper under this there? Okay. I like to do that, right? So, um, 
Yeah. So just, you want to say anything about the Alaskan trip and as far as the wildlife scene? Oh, yeah. So John and I, um, we did a back-to-back. -back. So we went up to Seward and then came back. And so the day where most people were getting on the ship for the second, you know, we had already been on for a week. And so that what we did was we um, um, we went and did this cool, cool um, extra, uh, boat excursion and for about four and a half hours and I looked at some glaciers and, and we saw a seal and uh, John got some great pictures of all of this, right? Hopefully. Seal, whale, yeah. goat, wild goat up on the mountain. Yeah, it was a wild goat. And, and they all freaked out when the goat came down to the beach for whatever reason. I guess, you know, he wanted to go to the beach for a little bit, but everybody was... So our, our little um, nature individual just went bonkers over that. Yeah, this was so funny. We had this little girl, and this was so cute. I really would recommend this to her. This, we were on Royal Caribbean, and uh, this is something that they sort of had planned. Um, the um, girl that was uh, narrating it, she was probably in her 20s, and just knew everything about all the animals, and the different kind of whales and the salmon. And, and um, she was, what was she really impressed with that she went on and on about? So cute. What, what she really was excited about something. What was that? Well, the goat. She was quite well, the excited, goat. About, she the excited goat about the goat. about the goat. The and then the and then oh these whales whether they came out of the water or not and yeah which and how, way they came out what the tails were doing and you know how and often the flippers that, were flipping and oh yeah just it was just um it was just um it was just interesting to me you know she just um uh I mean because it was such a it was it was so exciting for her to you know what what was ha happening right so um. Uh, anyway, we like, but she had this program for the kids, which would, and, and you could become a, a forest honorary, it's part of the a national park system, actually, it wasn't just her, um, you could become an honorary park ranger. What do you think of that? I mean, wouldn't that be something? And, and you, for you're a kid, and they gave you a badge, and you felt, you colored in this comic book, and I thought, man, my grandkids would have loved that. They would have just so, they, she could have talked them into becoming honorary park rangers, too, and she would have. They would have done that in a New York minute. They would have just loved that. Just so cute. Are we going to have some Alaska painting on YouTube? Oh, we may have one or two. You know, we're just you know we have one. We want you know I like I say I haven't gone through the the, the colors, but what John really you I think those seals were so interesting, and there were a ton of them, not just one or two, but these guys were all about it, right? Oh, they're basking in the sun. Yeah, they were just lying on these rocks, and it was a cold day. It was very windy and cold. At least, at least that was my my interpretation of the experience, <laughs> right? And and I had a cold anyway, so I was staying inside the the ship, you know, in this this kind of boat we were on. Sort of wanted to stay in that, right? And um, had a wonderful lunch. Oh yeah, they had real. They had uh, fresh uh, caught salmon for lunch, and and better prime rib than actually we had on the cruise. And um, you know that was something. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was just, I thought that was one of the, uh, I gave them great reviews. Great, uh, great, uh, experience with that. Really was just really interesting. Um, you liked it too, right? I mean, John, oh, and, yeah. but, but again, I had this cold, not complaining, just saying had it. And, um, and uh, anyway, so we're just we're just playing along here, you guys, while I'm painting all this in. But that was fun, and um, oh, and and it, I'll tell you one thing that that cruise really made me. Um, not that I wasn't before, but it really made both. It was kind of a I don't want to say a wake up call, but that we met this couple, and a lovely a Canadian couple, and she had been probably one of the biggest insurance executives there for this company. And as a female, really unusual to get that high up in office, so forth. And um, what happened was that she, the doctor told her five years ago she had a brain tumor and she wasn't going to make it inoperable and she wasn't going to live five months. And it's been five years and those guys have just been cruising ever since. She thought for those three months she, before she died she'd like to cruise. And, um, and so they... Um, uh, they did. Um, they were cruising, but she she kept going, and the doctors couldn't believe it that she um, she was still alive because, according to them, she should not have been. So 
you know, that's just an interesting, to me that was an interesting story, but it also, you just never know. Stuff happens to people, you just never know. You've got to kind of seize the day, do it, do stuff while you can. John and I are going to try, try to travel as much as we can while we both, um, you know, have our health. You know, I just think that that's... Um, you don't want to wait for tomorrow. Yeah, no, and, and we really don't. And I, and I, and I got to, I really, really saw that. You know, I mean, there's other things you could do. There's things you could own. And, um, you know, and just none of that's, you know, that, that none of that seems very important. You know what I mean? So anyway, that was our our uh, thought about that. It would be nice to, um, uh, to travel more. And I think, think we'd really, and, and the thing about that we found for traveling, the thing that I really love about traveling, okay, is that... Um, Gosh, I'm going to have to put more paint out. What's that? The white you're paint. You're not supposed window. to get more paint out when you're doing the, the quickies. I know. I know. I'm not supposed to get more paint out, but it's hard not to because it, you know, sometimes you just, you need a little more paint. Um, when you're doing the quickies, I know you're not really supposed to get more paint out, but this is, this got sort of fun. I'm going to brighten up some of this green here. So yeah, that was a really inter interesting. Um, uh, th that was an interesting trip from that perspective. Sort of, you know, when you travel, you see, you know, you I don't know, it get, gives you time to really think about things. I think that's what it did for us. Oh, and meet anyway. interesting people. Oh yeah, met some very very nice people that were doing very interesting things, and um, you see different sights and sounds. Yep, yeah. and and as and as an artist. You know, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, and so we, we had a th song, it's called Land of the Silver Mist, Home of the Pine Trees, and, the, and it went, um, blue naked rocky shores calling me back once more. And that's the, that's the kind of scenery I grew up with as a kid. Um, okay, this has been sort of fun. I hope you don't mind me doing this weird little painting here, right? I don't mind it. Um, apparently 199 other people don't mind it. Okay. All right. So as long as I'm not, um, um, you know, just doing that. So that was that was very interesting. And then of course I, you know, got this stupid cold, and I really did. And I know I picked it up from. I, I had kind of. I had gotten over it. So I think I had gotten it from um, somebody on the ship. I was really making an effort to, you know, do all the hand washing and stuff. But you get that many people together, and there's bound to be. Um, some fallout. You like that? Oh yeah, I like some, that fallout. Fall, fallout, right? But that was I, I don't know. I thought that was um, really fun. We just uh, really enjoyed it, and uh, oh, we got to take this um, this helicopter, uh, not helicopter, but um, airplane ride. If some of you saw the pictures from that, took this airplane ride. Um, in a float plane. In a, a float plane, and I'd never been on one before. And they gave us uh, earphones, and um, so it was so silent. And occasionally, the captain would tell us something, and he went up to this high mountain lake, right? That'd be the pilot. That would be the pilot. Yeah, the pilot. The captain? He's not a captain. I He's don't only think the so. pilot. He doesn't He's get just to be. Pilot. He just gets to be called. Um, just a pilot. Just gets to be called pilot. Well, okay. Hmm. Good to know, John. So anyway. Uh, he was, you know, giving us kind of the background history of the whole place, okay? And uh, that was fun, you know? Yeah. And uh, it was so breathtakingly beautiful. It was, um, I just stared out the window. I just, I started to take pictures for a while and then just quit because I just needed the experience of seeing it and kind of locking it into my brain. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. You know? And uh, anyway, that was really cool. So John got the pictures, and 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 we it was we landed on this high mountain lake in the middle of the lake, and everybody got out on the pontoons except Ginger, who did not get out on the pontoons. <laughs> she saw no sense in that. Well, it's not that. It's not really that. But I have to say that I didn't think my sense of balance was all that great from since having the cold. Oh, okay, yeah, good excuse, good excuse. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah. I mean, I I was looking at those thinking, you know, you know. <laughs> I mean, there was a day when I would have been climbing on the roof of the plane and, you know, all over the place, right? And I realized that that day has passed, sadly. 
that day has passed. I just thought getting up into the steps of the plane was probably one of the major challenges. I didn't want to push it too much, right? I know it sounds a little weak, doesn't it? But uh, uh, I don't know. Just, just a thought, right? So, all right. I'm having fun with this. I hope I'm you guys kind of mind. mystified on the um, your yellow orchid there on the side. Is that like a cloth or? Yeah, it's going to be like some fabric here, but okay. I haven't got it. Right. I haven't got it painted yet. You know, that's my fabric. We just blocking just, it in. I'm just blocking it I, in. I, well, I'm kind of seeing. That's what I'm seeing there. So you I'm must be heading the right direction. Usually, I can't do that. Yeah, I'm just uh, blocking that in, right, like that. And here's a little um, blending medium. Okay, people, we have 220 entries. I, I assume that's everybody out of the 300 and plus that are watching. So apparently 100 and. Well, so not everybody. So how do they enter, John? If they don't have a, if they don't have a. Um, they can't. They can't if they have don't have what? What do you have to have to enter? What do you have to be watching this on? Because I think in some ways that even that well, they either maybe, a tablet or a phone. I don't think you can do it from your television. I know some of the newer TVs you might be able to. If you have access to a browser, you have to have a browser because it's going to a Google form. All right. Yeah, again, just, this is for only for the live audience. If you're watching this after the live event on June 18th of 2018, you see the YouTube link below. Ignore it. It won't go anywhere. Yeah, all right. So we're just kind of brightening this up a little bit. You know, doing what we can here in a few minutes to just... Okay, here we go. Um, I think this is sort of fun. Gracie wants to know, okay, is not a painting contest, just a form? It's not a contest. Why would you think it was a contest? It's just a, you know, we're going to do a drawing. We're going to do a drawing from everybody that's entered that form. And you're going to win that we're painting. Gonna, we're going to draw a number between one and how many, many people entered. And uh, that's... Um, Push you 230. You know, that's all we're doing here, right, like that. Gracie is confused. All right, Gracie. That's okay, Gracie. Sorry. You're among friends. There's plenty of people that are confused. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more of that here, like that. Now it's a little more Van Goghish. It does a little, a little more Van Goghish, doesn't it? Just, yep. uh, um, I think I'm out of white paint, so I have to do a little white. Anyway, sorry, you guys. Just a little bit of white here. And, and I want to just play with the petals a bit here. Well, let me just rinse the brush. So you'll always see me pinch the brush and just, uh, it does look a little more Van Gogh-ish, right? It is. See, the thing about painting, it, it, anything, it's just all about layers, right? So, you know, you just first start doing it, it doesn't look like much, because it's, 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 it's all layered stuff. And the first little layer just, you know, may not, um, may not be it. Okay, there's my little flower over here. And um, I don't have time to put another one in. I might have put another one up there, but I think we won't do that. Uh, you did that. I think you changed the design and no resting spot for your eye. That's true. Let's see. We're going to just start brightening. Hey, Art, up. thanks very much for the donation, and welcome back, you guys, is his comment. Good to be Thank back, it, You know, it's fun. And again, you know, you're going to see us travel more. We're going to save all our pennies up for that. We're not buying stuff, you know, no new clothes, any of that stuff. We're going to just travel. If we have any extra money, we're going to try and travel, see the world, and show it to you. It, kind of a, it was an awakening with all the people that we saw in this last cruise that, hate to say it, on death's door. I know, and, and I've just... Um, and so many of them say, well, I wish I could... Feeling better, like three years ago, I could do this excursion or that excursion or do this or that. Oh, and even for myself, I'm, I'm excluded out of all kinds of excursions. Did you know, know that? Because if you're over 70, they don't let you play. Nope. You know? So they say, well, we would let you, but you're too old, right? And I'm going, oh, <laughs> well, screw you. But it's all right. Sorry. Ginger, does a glass or two of wine change how you paint? Um, Honestly, she no. doesn't drink and paint. 
I don't drink and paint. And I, I try. And one of the other things I do not do, and this is a really important, you guys. Super and, important. And certain, it's just more important than drinking and painting. Okay. Do not eat and paint. Do not what? Eat and paint. And you're going to ask, why is that, Ginger? Why is that, Ginger? And the reason being that, the reason you don't want to do that, right, is because uh, you'll get into the habit of wanting to eat and paint. And then um, that's just a disaster. It doesn't hurt your painting, but it's just, you know, then you'll find yourself this, uh, needing to eat all the time. I, I used to go out to lunch and read, and now I have to be very careful never to read and eat either, because the minute, <laughs> oh, minute I pick, pick up a book, <coughs> then I want to, then I want to, I want to eat something, right? It's just like popcorn in the movie theaters, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just, just saying, that's, that's something you don't want to do. I would just, just, um, just a thought, right? What is bleached white acrylic paint? I give up. What is it? I think something that you think would be brighter than titanium. My titanium is pretty I'm, bright. I have no idea. I've never bought it, so I, I don't know. I think it's a cheaper brand of paint that they're trying to make it whiter. I mean, just going by the name. You know, that's it, a it's nice just, looking it's painting. Just, that's not, that's kind of cute, right? Yeah. You know, you just never know. I mean, I'm having fun talking with all of you. I've re we've missed the live shows. We've missed all of you. Really? Are we having an art cruise for everyone with Ginger? Oh, we do have a birthday cruise for next year. <laughs> we want to give you plenty of time for that. Thank you for mentioning that, right? A little segue for you. Yeah, thank you. We have a birthday cruise next of uh, uh, January, no, January 28th. Thank you. Oh, is it the 28th? I thought 29th. Out of Galveston. It's on the Liberty of the Seas. And, um, yeah, we definitely have a birthday cruise and. Um, we're not, we'll and we, yeah, and if you, yeah, contact us, 27th. we'll give you 27th, it'll be for a week, and again, we don't charge anybody to be, you know, as far as that, we don't guarantee anything, I may be painting, you can come watch or bring your paints and come paint with me, but it's not like we're charging you any money to be with us, we're just saying we're doing it, if you want a book, we have a place, if you want to be able to sit with us at the same table for dinner, um, you have to book it through our agent, so she can arrange so it. So she all. can arrange it. Otherwise, that won't just probably won't happen. We did that last year. It was a lot of fun. So if you think you'd like to do that, um, January twenty seventh, two thousand nineteen, out of Galveston, Texas. So that's that's the and our and our write us if you write us, we'll um, we'll give you the details. We'll what tell you how to get in, get in touch with the gal. Yeah, what get in touch with our gal. Yeah, we have a gal. We have a gal, and she she can arrange for you to. Okay. Yeah, and we'll post it in the Facebook. All right, I think that's it, you guys. I've got some sort of little flower here. Or some. Okay, um, wait, 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 wait. Let's just wait a second. You think you you're mean? really done? Yeah, maybe not, but close enough, right? I might not be done, but I'm close enough done, right? <sighs> you know, if I'm still painting while you're doing drawing, isn't that okay? Uh, pretty much it is. All right, finish up the contest, people. What cruise line? Royal Caribbean is the only thing we fly. Oh, speaking of flying, that's that, that's that's a no-go for us. That's a whole other story. We'll have to tell you about that on the way up. Oh yeah, that was a that was a trip, wasn't it? Okay, it's all right. That's all. I will sign that. There's our little you know fun little background painting. I cannot give you a link to the travel agent. She does not have a direct link. You'll have to write her directly. We can. We'll have an email that we'll send out to you. You yeah. know, you just contact us. We, we, yeah, just contact us. We'll give you all her information. Okay. Uh, the entry form is now going to be closed. We're getting ready to do the drawing as she puts on the final touches of this. Is this an apple blossom? I don't know. Just Almond blossom. Something. No, nah, it doesn't look like the right leaves. I don't know. It's something. Okay. I just I'm going with it. Something you like that? I'm going with it. I like it. I like the something. I thought you did. I thought That's you might like it. Great title. I thought you might like that. All right. Here we go. Form shutting down. People, oh, we have a lot of entries in the last couple of minutes here. Form is being shut down now. Okay. Now, something no longer. One more refresh. All right. 
Corn's been turned off. There's plenty of time, people. Whose spreadsheet creates 255 entries. All right, well, that's fun. That was always, that's always good, right? Yep, I'm going to show my 320 people are presently watching. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me, you guys. You know, for just a fun little picture out of a diff, you know, different kind of background, some blue, and I don't know, just thought it might be fun to do that. Great to do that. Alexa, <laughs> I need a number between 1 and 255. Your random number between 1 and 255 is 128. 128. 128. Who's that? In a monastery. Take my keyboard, please, Satan. All right, Anna, yeah, you congratulations. Use the contact us form on our website, gingercooklive.gallery, and give us your name and address and where you'd like this mail to. And, you know, even if, um, you know, we're, we're good about that. If you Even if you live far away, we'll mail it to you. Even if you live far away. <laughs> what kind of is far away? Um, are you know, out of my neighborhood. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's resort this tubby. All right. So we're going to now for the tub of towels. Yeah? Yeah. Now, I'm just painting on this as long as he's still doing it, right? You guys don't mind, right? Yeah, I don't mind. Just wanted to define a little bit of something here. All right. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 255. Your random number between 1 and 255 is 224. 224. What do you think of the end, girl? 222 Sharon Strait. All right, Sharon, you have won a sample package of a tub of towels. Congratulations. And I think you'll like these if you haven't tried them. These were fun. I really like these. I'm glad. I said, you know, we tell people I mean, you should give me some samples to mail out. I mean, John and I are mailing them out. I mean, uh, we don't get a commission off a tub of towels. They send me some once in a while, right? So it's not, not like we're making any great deal of money on this. But but you know what? You know, I tell you all kinds of you know, I tell you all kinds of. Uh, Matisse has never sent me so much as a tube of paint, right? So you know, uh, trust me. I'll uh, we um. Uh, you know, if we like something, we'll tell you. And I think it was very nice of them to at least <coughs> send me some samples I could show you guys. I thought that was at least nice, right? That is very nice. You know, so, so, since so many companies that we, you know, just, it, you know, not that, you know, if we like it, we'll tell you. If we hate it, though, this is what's great. If we hate it, we'll tell you too. <laughs> and nobody, we're, nobody's. We're not bashful. No, if we hate it, man, you will know, you know? which I think is excellent. All right. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 255. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, a number between 1 and 255. She doesn't know, John. She doesn't want to do it. She's tired of playing with us. 250. Look at that resorted. 250, huh? 250. Which is? Tanya Staggs. Tanya, 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 all right, our Tanya. You think we think people think we rigged it? Ha! Huh. Yeah. She already uses. Oh my gosh. Tanya. Well, Tanya knows that they're good stuff. Well, it's this, you have them in your purse for when you're traveling. You can't buy these little sample ones, but that's yeah. good, right? Uh uh. I haven't seen them available, but they should have them as a. Well, yeah, but that should and do does are two different things, right? Should and does. So you're still painting on that. 
Well, I was just playing with it. As long as they were just talking, right? Oh. I was just playing, right? Yeah. Oh, that's All looking right, so pretty good. You added a little bit of color down in the glass? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, a little color in the glass. Added a couple of these little petals down here on the bottom. I better slash through that name and let's call her good. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. We're going to call it good. I hope you guys, you know, I have like fun with this. Yeah, and John, you did an excellent job <laughs> in the background here. Oh, good you're job. saying that because it's true. It's true. I'm just going to put a little red up in here, too, because I want it in yeah, this part of this flower. Okay. Hey, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us this evening here on YouTube Live. We're sorry for the buffering. Not our issue, as far as I can tell. I don't know. Um, we will look into it. I was not buffering too badly here. As far as the feed's concerned, we got a notice at the very end here that it burped. But other than that... We're good. We'll be back on Sunday at 4 p.m. as our new time. 4 p.m. Central on Sundays, and Mondays are at 7.30 p.m. Seeing how you found us. That's a good thing. There's our, there's our, our picture again, if you want to look That's at it. Now, picture. I've got this on Pinterest, if you want to uh, you know, do a quick printout of it. It's Ginger Cook Live, um, all one word on Pinterest. It's the of on the third board on the right from the top if you guys want to just if you want to do a printout of it to look at it okay this lesson that you're currently watching is available for replay forevermore or at least until we take it down if we ever take it down which we yeah. don't seem to ever take well, i thought down. this was just a fun one i thought this I was, was a nice fun one. really good example of gradated skies an ocean an ocean with birds with birds and a lighthouse and a lighthouse hey sammy why don't you take us home buddy Thanks for Take watching, you guys. Heart hugs from John and I. Bye. Bye, everyone. Not that thumb. Hold on a second. <coughs> Don't be coughing yet. We're still on the guy. We still have the mics up. I got to find the right buttons here. Do, do, you, do you imagine people have that kind of control, man? You're funny. I don't have it. Where, where is our... I give up. Where? We had where's, an intro thumb when we started. Where's, where's, it. where's There Jimmy's? it is. Okay. <laughs> Sammy, take us home. Bye. I'm a student, Bye. I say with glee, of Ginger says, Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn. Coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.